Hey guys, are you wanting to go to a Halloween party this year and want to dress up like the Jersey Shore Snooky? Today I'm going to give you the tips that made me win last year's Best Dressed Up Halloween theme. That's right, use these tips and you will be known as the Jersey Shore Guidette in no time. Jersey Shore Snooky was recognized all over the world in one big poof. Yep, that's right, her big hair poof. If you are going to pull off Snooky's look-alike, you will have to have a poof in your hair. There are a few options on how to get this hairstyle. Depending on your hair, you will have to make that choice. If you have long, dark hair, naturally, you should have no issues with pinning your hair up and using lots of hairspray and teasing. If not, I found a few costume websites that sells a Jersey Shore Snooky wig. I am no way affiliated with them. However, your local Halloween stores should have a Snooky wig as well. When I dressed like Snooky, I used my own hair and tethered it and pinned it up. Now we all know that Snooki cannot go to a party without getting her tan on. It's all part of the GTL. Now I am naturally dark skinned, however I definitely headed to the tanning salon. I actually asked my consultant to spray me more than the usual so that I would have that glow and orange fake tan look. She sprayed me six times more than the natural, therefore I did have a very dark complexion. Also, I used a bronzer on my face to make myself look even darker. What should you wear when you're trying to dress as Snooky? Really anything short. I used a dress that I bought from victoriasecret.com. It was a little short above the knee and that worked just fine. It had one shoulder all the way down to the wrist and then one shoulder was, it was cut off. When I dressed as Snooky, I went ahead and ordered the famous Snooky Got in a Wreck glasses from online at eBay. You could either get a pair like mine or you could always purchase off of Snooky's own shade line on her online website. All of these websites will be posted at the bottom. Please leave comments and like. Last year when I dressed as Snooky, one of the things that I got the most comments on were my boots with the fur. Actually, what I did was wore a pair of white flats, and then I ordered off of eBay leggings with fur. These leggings looked perfect and made my outfit come out with a bang. Everyone loved them, and nobody could tell that they were leggings over flats. Last thing I wanted to mention about the Snooky outfit is to always add jewelry. Gaudy jewelry was one of Snooky's favorite things, so any type of big hoops, big bracelets, anything like that would look great. Last year I also, just because I wanted to be a little bit cheaper, I went to the Walmart and I bought fake nails. I just placed those on for the night and they were a little bit longer than the usual um, so that they would show more. Also another um, thing that I would like to provide for you is that I used pantyhose under my uh, dress because it is a little bit cooler during the Halloween season so then I wasn't as cold if we did go outside. Just a few more things that I wanted to share with you this year. One thing that I did not use on my costume that might would be a good idea for you is to throw a really big bow up in your hair. You also could carry anything zebra or leopard print. And also, um, you could also carry a baby doll, which could be a boy that you could name Lorenzo, since um, this year Snooky did have her baby. So therefore, you could look into doing something like that as well. I just really hope that you did enjoy my Snooky Halloween costume um, tutorial. If you have any questions, please comment below or message me and I'll be glad to get back with you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.